Hey there, um, it's night time. It's actually like about 9.40 p.m. here. I'm getting my last minute stuff all packed up before I start my road trip tomorrow to get to Illinois. I just kinda wanted to do the intro of this tonight cause I have to wake up at six tomorrow and uh, don't wanna really film that much before I leave. I'll be taking you guys on my road trip for three days um, from AZ to Illinois and we're making two stops overnight, driving about eight hours every day. So I'm gonna show you what we see, what we experience, and where we stop. Uh, it'll be me and my mom, and we're gonna be taking my new car, Sophie. I hope you enjoy this video and come along with me to Illinois. Good morning, everyone. I've eaten, gotten dressed, kind of a little more awake now, and we're about to start packing my car up with the last few things. First stop, sit Route 66 trip. It's in Winslow, Arizona, and do you want to explain what it is? So in the Eagle song, Take It Easy, he talks about standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. And there's actually a metal statue guy holding a guitar, and it's part of Route 66 kind of places to stop. So standing on the corner yeah, in, on the Winslow. Corner in Winslow, Arizona. They go and drive to the Jack Rabbit. Thing. See you guys there. Alrighty, so we're at Jackrabbit Trading Post. Yes. And it's it's really great. I'll show you guys. So the way you know it's here is there's this sign that says here it is with a bunch of little bunnies up top and that's like how you know that it's here. So this little guy has a little stool and some feet areas so you can come up on him and take a picture. So if you ever decide to do the Route 66, you can get this passport. We got it at this jackrabbit place. And you can go to different stops within Route 66 and get stamps. And it tells you like where to stop and stuff. Where's our next stop, Mom? The Wigwam Motel. Wigwam. Sorry that I'm not really filming like in between driving sequences. I just didn't want to really risk it for the biscuit. Here's a Doc Hudson car. These are just so much fun. I love it. We're officially in New Mexico now. So we stopped at this place that was next. It's actually on Route 66. It's called Hotel El Rancho. And allegedly a lot of old town movie stars stayed here. So we're gonna go check it out. This is what it looks like. It says, Charm of Yesterday, Convenience of Tomorrow. It's off of Route 66. Some traffic here. But it's a nice landscape. And I'm hoping we can pass this guy again, but there's a truck up there. He was painting. So, yeah. We're just uh, driving along. Yeah, there's more storm clouds above us now, so maybe there'll be a storm tonight. chill tonight and go to bed and sleep really well and we'll see you tomorrow for our next leg of adventures. Good morning. We are up and out of. It is currently 6.45ish in the morning and we just finished eating and we're getting everything packed 
up again to hopefully head out of here here pretty soon. We are going to start New Mexico and then we're gonna get through a part of Texas into Oklahoma. Let's go. So we've officially made it into Texas this morning and now we are at our first stop, Route 66, which is essentially the halfway point. If you were to start in California and go to Illinois, this is halfway. So they have a motel here you can stay at. And this is actually like a cafe where you can eat. We just we just didn't go in. Cadillac Ranch is where we're headed next. Ten vintage Cadillacs, half buried, nose down in the dirt. But before that, we must have a Starbucks stop for my own good. a nice little walk. I recommend doing this if you need to get out and stretch your legs, you know, get your steps in for the day. If you think out really long. Um, we're gonna now head to Starbucks. Starbucks! Get tank, get some coffee, oh. and pee. We have stopped <laughs> in Amarillo, Texas. And they have a Target with Starbucks, so now I get my caffeine for the day, which I probably should have had three hours ago. I think we're gonna keep pushing forward until we get to Oklahoma. So we just made it to Pops. I didn't know it had gas. You can fill up your tank here at Pops, which is so cool. I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the big bottle soda. We're gonna go on in and find something to drink. What do you think, Mom? It's very pretty. It's very green. Oh, it's so green and lots of trees and flowers. And this is the Bushies. building where you go in to get your soda, and you can fill up your car right there. And that big soda bottle is what shows you where to go. So you can come here and get this little four six pack and you can fill it up with whatever soda you want. So we got orange. That's our receipt. We got where are we? Party pop. This is I don't think I can get it out, but I think that's like a mystery curiosity cola. Curiosity cola. Cherry cola. Then, sarsaparilla, which is root beer if you didn't know, and then we got solitude caramel root beer, and then I also purchased this little Pops Route 66 keychain here. They also have like snacks, and they have a diner here, and all these different Route 66 and Pops merchandise. It's a really nice shop. It's really cool. What are we trying first, Mama? Salted We're trying the salted caramel root beer. root beer. You go first. Oh, that's good. Is it good? It's so good. Oh, that is like a dessert. That's really delicious. So one of our sodas, really good. Yum. One out of six is a plus. Out of five, Stars, what would you give that one? Five. Five out of five? Yeah. No, I, I would agree. You know I love my root beer. I do too. Five out of five stars for the salted caramel root beer. So we have made it to the gathering place where we're gonna walk for a bit because we've been in the car for too long. Then we're gonna figure out where we're gonna eat because I'm starting to get a little hungry. Nice, nice little garden and underneath is cars going through little tunnels so they call this the sky garden we've been walking quite a bit along the river and I think we're about to head to our car and go get some food but we're 
we're sweating. We've made it to hotel number two out of two. Um, this is Country Inn and Suites in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, this is the room we have. So you walk in the door and, oh my God, the bathroom is nice. We got a nice shower. Mom, our bathroom is huge. Yes. And then you got a little hanging area, an iron. And then here's the main room. We got a king bed again, a desk. This cabinet has um, a microwave and that one has the fridge. We got a TV. So yeah, I think it's really nice, Mom. We went, uh, after we walked around, we went to dinner, as you saw. And it was a place called Torchy's Tacos. If you are in Oklahoma, specifically Tulsa, please go. Do yourself a favor, go eat there because it was delicious. And Deb endorses this message. It was delicious. Some of the best tacos I've ever had. It was the best tacos we've ever had, actually. And we're from Arizona, which means a lot. So we're gonna just hang out, go to the pool a little bit, and yeah, we'll, we'll catch up with you later, Gator. Hey, everybody. I wanted to upgrade us a little bit. So I wanted to get her a little bit of a welcome home gift that might also have to have a little bit of Christmas lumped into that, but it's super exciting. This. I think will really upgrade the quality of our videos and kind of give us a little bit more versatility, I think. So it is another filming kit. However, the camera that I got was a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. This is an excellent camera. It has gotten very good reviews for specifically vlogging. And I saw an amazing deal online for not just the camera, but also for literally a camera case to be able to hold all of these other things. I'll explain what they are. But this is another standalone tripod, but it also wraps that you can, so that, you know, when, if we're in the car and we're riding together and it needs to be hands-free or um, if we want to wrap it around something, then that'll be super helpful. It comes with an SD card already with the camera and then an HDMI cable. What? Oh, I didn't know it came with an HDMI cable. And then also, the biggest thing that I really appreciated was a full stand-up tripod. And it also comes with a digital battery, and then it comes with like a battery and SD card holder, and a reader and a writer, and like a cleaning bulb. But it just seems to be a lot of really helpful stuff to be able to make really good quality videos. And not that the other ones aren't good quality by any means, but like this is just gonna take it to the next level. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited to be able to make this more of like professional, you know? And I wanted to be able to surprise Katie again. Uh, I have to go to work here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go get ready, but then I will take a video with the new equipment and then fast forward to when I film Katie coming into the apartment for the first time that will then be hers. So we are gonna try Another one of our sodas we got today from Pops. We're gonna try the million dollar orange. That's <laughs> us. Ooh, it's a very calm orange. Like it's nice, like it's very smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth. A very smooth orange. It's tasty. It's nice. It's a good one. So out of five stars, what would you give this? Um. I think I'd give it a 4.5 maybe, because yeah. I would drink this again. Two out of six have been tested. I'm really nervous about the Japanese one, but we'll we'll give that one another night. <laughs> Holy <laughs> looks so much better. I love this camera so far. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. Mm, bye, thanks. <laughs> so this is going to be a gift that I give for Katie. It'll be recording when she comes in. I'm so excited. So we're on day three, which is our day that we get into Decatur tonight. We had a neighbor that was very loud. <laughs> it first woke me up because he turned on his TV and there was like some kind of music happening. Very loud. And then he turned it down. And then it sounded like there was a band right outside our window. And then he was singing at 3 in the 3 morning. 3.30 in the morning. He was singing for like an hour. That was really a rough tired. night. But nonetheless, we are still pushing through. We're trying to figure out where to get gas and where we're gonna go today, and then we're gonna head out. So our 
first stop along this little route today is the Blue Whale, which is in Oklahoma, which is 11 minutes away from the gas station slash hotel. And it was good. It was once the centerpiece of a thriving little swim park. The Blue Whale was one of the most recognizable sights along the 66. Now restored to its original version, the big smiling whale greets visitors as he floats in his own pond adjacent to a picnic area. So we're gonna go see this Blue Whale. the bunny. It has little slides going out its cheeks and then you can climb back on the whale if this were to be used as a swimming pool. Oh and it has a little sand area down there with buckets. So here's our stop. It's called Cars on, Ro on the Route. No one's here, but it's open inside. Um, these are pumps from 60s, and they have little makeshift cars, so <laughs> So here's Red and Mater and this guy, and I think it's a little, like, eatery. So we attempted to go to the, like, sidewalk highway place of Route 66, and the turnoff was really difficult and kind of out of nowhere. There was not really any signs. So we just passed it and decided to keep going. And then we went and stopped at the car route, which we just saw. And now I think we're just gonna keep driving until we get to Missouri, because I think that there's only one thing in Missouri we really wanna see, and then we're just gonna keep going. Gross. Grass. You need that. <laughs> you need grass soda, Mom. Dinosaur dung. There's so much happening. Maple syrup. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, buffalo oh wings. What? Cucumber. Corn. Ranch dressing. Mustard. You need to get that for Mark. Martian soda? Carrot cake soda? What is this? Zombie place? brain. Kitty piddle. So that was awesome. I thought that was really great. So we got a few little treats and I just wanted to show you. One of them is kind of a surprise for Mar, but by the time she sees this, she should already have it, so it's fine. So we got some Sour Cherry Sour Patch Kids. Um, these are my favorite. And you can only get these at like small or odd candy stores. Like they don't just sell these and I wish they did. And we also, they had a whole like wall of different flavored cotton candies, like crazy. So we got some rosé cotton candy to try. They had mimosa, they had margarita, they had pickle. bacon, pickle, beer, alien popcorn. fluff, popcorn, wedding cake, cinnamon bun. So that was really fun. We're not going to go into the largest gift store just because I don't really want anything from there. So we're going to keep heading on, trucking along. Um, I think the next place is a mural city possibly if we find it. It's almost time. She's gonna be here in 15 minutes. I'm so excited. We are ready. I'm gonna vacuum the place and then I'm going to set the camera up on the table so that she walks in and the YouTube video is playing. All right, you guys, she is literally that close. <laughs> She's almost here. Maybe she is. Hi. Bean. Welcome home. You can go take a look at it if you want. We're now going to be like the fancy people. Heck yeah. Hello. It is so recording. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, Deb. Hi. Hey. 
She made it. No, like a Toby. <laughs> You've been driving for what? Three days. Yeah, like eight hours. She's been driving for like 24 hours, yeah, not consecutively. Yeah, we actually have to film an outro, so this is a good idea. After we, our last stop, which was in Missouri, so it's been a while. She's home. I just want to say that if you do the Route 66 thing, or the way to go, uh, I suggest taking more than three days. Because there were a lot of stops that me and Deb, my mom, did not do because it was just too much time and it was more like, oh, here's a restaurant and here's a, a motel. And I'm like, I don't want to stay there or do that. Ah! So yeah, I suggest doing it if you were like, dedicate a whole week to doing that trip. But also, I think both of us have agreed that our favorite stop was Pops. Yeah. Say bye, Deb! Bye! They made it! We made it! So happy. Bye. Bye.